Hi guys, it's Eric Weiss with a new lock picking video. The lock I have today is another one of these uh, Robo Safe Deposit Box locks, uh, which are actually a smaller version of the Asa Twin. Um, this one has five pins in the main stack uh, and four side pins that control a sidebar. And um, I picked one of those in another video already. Uh, but in contrast to the other one that had uh, gin drivers, this one has barrel drivers. Uh, which uh, is quite a difference in terms of picking. Um, and in fact, uh, this one uh, was much more of a challenge for me than the other one. But now, without further ado, let's put this thing in a vise and see if we can get it picked. All right, the Robo Safe Deposit Box Lock is now in the vise. Here's the key. Works nicely. And again, this core can only be rotated 90 degrees, so we have to turn clockwise. And for tensioning, again, I use this multi-pick um, tensioner. And for setting the, the side pins, I use this multi-pick G Pro 7. And for picking the main stack, I use this Peterson Jam hook. And let's check the side pins first. But I think I have to start with the main stack, and this may sound a bit brutal, and <laughs> indeed it is, but these barrel pins need some harder treatment. Now everything is springy. Let's check the side pins again. One is loose, two is loose, three is binding, and four is also a bit binding. And four is the most critical one. Oh, yeah. No, that's not again. That's one, two, three. And four. Four is the one that's a bit critical. Let's check the main stack again. And again the side pins. Last one feels okay. Number three and number two. And number one, just set them a bit. And let's check the main stack again. That's the last click normally. So they are all kind of springy, but just the right amount. So let's try the side pins again. Now number one is binding and a little core rotation. Number three is now binding. To give it back some rotation. Oh, I lost a lot, I think. Let's get to the main stack back. Need some more force here. And again, they're all springy. Let's check the side pins once more. 
is a bit more core rotation. Number two is loose. Number three is loose and number four also feels good. So probably something's missing on the main stack. One springy, two springy, three is binding. And there we go. That was really fast. I've been practicing on this one quite for a while and I'm happy that it worked out so quickly now. So let's see what's inside. <coughs> let's take the pinning tray again. And first I have to remove this cam again. Oh, I forgot my glasses, sorry. <clears throat> also, the focus is the same. Okay, that's the cam piece. And again, let's use the key. The follower and a little rotation clockwise. And this should work. There we go. Let's put this into a car holder for now and see what's inside here. Let's change. The follower. And so that they can't jump away. So that's the first one. It's a barrel. Second one, also a barrel. Third one, another barrel. Fourth, also a barrel. And the fifth. Let's see, where is it? Oh, here it comes. That's not a barrel, that's a standard. A little small standard. So then, let's take out the springs. Oh, sorry, one, two, three, four. Let's see if I find the last. That's number five. Then let's have a look at the main, uh, at the key pins. That's a standard, and they're all standard, I think. And the last one, this is a very long one. That's why the last pin is not a barrel, but a standard pin, because this would be too long in total. So what you see here, I hope you can see it, is uh, the counter milling. And that's uh, this type of counter milling that matches uh, those barrel pins. It looks a bit different from the counter milling um, for the gins. And also let's have a look at the sidebar. Here it is. Let's take that out as well. That's this Typical sidebar with the small, uh, tiny lips. And there are also two tiny little springs. One and two. And then there are some side pins. It's these four. I hope you can see it. 
and they're also spring loaded number four three two and one they're all similar and there's the first spring that's now springed out one is still in i think no where is it oh there it is Oh, sorry, I hope I get this out. Yes, there they are. And this is the core. Let's put that aside. And these four springs. Otherwise, nothing, nothing special about the housing. And let's have a close up. Here they are. Let's get some focus. As you can see, the um, barrels are in chambers one to four, and the counter milling is uh, in, in all the chambers. So we have uh, four barrels with matching counter milling. Yeah, and that's about all about this Robor safety deposit box look. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.